So this question starts off by providing us with this function here. I always like to pay attention to the presence of a variable in the exponent. I pay attention to that because I know that I can make that variable equal to zero. I can set it equal to zero and therefore make the entire exponent there equal to zero. I just need to find out from the question, well, what does it mean for t to equal zero? And then I can determine if that helps me to answer this question or not. But usually, far more than, far, far more than not, making sure that that variable equals zero is very helpful in understanding the question. So the question here says the given function m models the mass of the radioactive isotope carbon-14 in a sample in picograms, t years after the initial measurement. How much time in years does it take for the mass of carbon-14 in the sample to decrease to 5 picograms? Okay, so how much time does it take for it to decrease to 5 picograms? Well, again, I like to see what, what happens when t equals 0. When t is 0, which means no years pass the initial measurement, then this whole fraction becomes 0. And then 1 half to the 0 power is just 1. And we'd have an m of 0 is equal to 10, right? Because 10 times 1 is 10. So we're basically saying m of what? Or I'll just say m of t instead of replacing that with a question mark. m of t is equal to 5. So I want, I want that to cut down in half. So what I'm going to do is I am going to replace m of t with 5. Right? I know that I want my m of t to be 5. So I'm going to say 5 equals 10 times 1 half to the t over 5730. I can then divide both sides by 10. And that would lead me to having 1 half, because 5 over 10 is 1 half. 1 half equals 1 half to the t over 5730. Now, how is this possible? What is the invisible exponent on the left-hand side here? Let's put this in parentheses so it can be a bit clearer. This is 1 half to that power. What's the invisible exponent on this left side? Well, it's just a 1, right? 1 half to the first power. So somehow we want 1 half to the first power to equal 1 half to the t over 5730 power. The only way that happens is if the exponents actually equal each other, then you have 1 is equal to t over 5730, right? That's the only way that this statement ends up being true. So how do we simplify that? Well, we could just multiply both sides by 5730. So we'll cross out on the right-hand side and would multiply by 1 on the left-hand side. So we'd have 5730 equals t, and that will be our answer. Right, so our time that it would take is 5,730 years for it to go down to 5. So there's our answer to this question.